Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I am going to be doing an unboxing of Heroes of Terranoth, published by Fantasy Flight Games. Now, this game came out uh, just recently. So this is the end of 2018, and it kind of went a little bit under the radar because all of the buzz is all about Keyforge and unique games and Discover Lands Unknown, but this one came out as well, and I am very excited about it, and the reason is this is a kind of new version of the Warhammer Quest Adventure card game, which I've got right there. Well, not right there, it's just the box cover. But anyway, um, so yeah, so this is a new version. Now, for those people who don't know, Fantasy Flight Games and Games Workshop used to have a partnership and work together, uh, and Fantasy Flight Games published, published a number of games in the Warhammer universe, including that one. But then they lost the rights, the two companies parted their ways and basically went their own way. And a lot of people who really liked that game were disappointed because they weren't going to get any extra content. And this is Fantasy Flight's answer to it. I've not read the rulebook of this yet. I don't even know what's in the box. I don't know very much about it, apart from this is the, effectively the second edition of that game, but set in the Terranoth universe, which is the one Fantasy Flight game has for Descent and Room Wars, I think, maybe? Anyway, so let's get on with the unboxing. I've still got the shrink wrap on, so you can see I haven't actually done anything about this whatsoever. Uh, right, so let's get rid of that plastic cover and let's see what we have. So, uh, yeah, it looks very similar to what we've got in there. So let's see what we've got. I should have looked at the game designer. So this is Adam Sadler and Brady Sadler. And that original one is Adam Sadler and Brady Sadler. So, yes. Right. OK, so we have a uh, brochure advertising Keyforge, which, yep, I know quite a lot about that. Um, rule book. I will be having a look at this later on because I want to know what's different. But it's your usual Fantasy Flight game standard, uh, which is generally very good these days. I know a lot of their rule books have taken uh, some criticism in the past, but I think recently, the last few years, their rule books have been very, very good. Right, so what we have here is I think these are the scenario cards. So. Each time you play, you pick one of these scenarios or quests. I think the original one had five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this has eight of them in there. I'm assuming that it isn't just the original ones that they've just changed the names of. Um, we, we will find out when we play. Um, but yeah, so that's those. And we got a bag, light bags. Right. Sheet of counters, um, which comes sealed. I'm not sure why it comes sealed. But I'm just going to do the punch test. Paul's punch test, as, as I've just called it, literally, right now. But that... Ah. <laughs> right. Let's try and get in. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm not sure why that's sealed. Uh, obviously, the very, very important proof of purchase, because without that, nobody's actually going to know whether I bought it. People might think I've stolen it. So you've got to keep this at all times. Right, well, I can already tell that the punching is going to be good because things have already started to fall out. So, yeah, that looks good. Punching's good on that. I think we've got thickness-wise. Yeah, they're good. Normal fantasy flight stuff. So this is the thing which kind of bothers me a little bit about the games. Is you, get, you get this insert here. Without this insert, the box would look empty. And, to, and the fact is, the box is mostly empty and you don't have much in there. But... They are going to be releasing expansions for this game, and at that point, once you've sleeved the cards and put these in bags, it will then start to fill the box. So, what we have is... Yeah, I mean, the rest of it is just cards, but we've got Ziploc bags, which are good. I'm assuming these are normal Fantasy Flight Games quality cards. They feel a little thinner. I might be wrong on that, but they do feel a little thinner than normal. Um, but they're probably going to get sleeved anyway, for me. So, we've got... Quite a lot of the cards in there. Yeah, good number of those cards. And just looking at these, these do look very similar. This is the health value, I think, and your characters level up. Um, so yeah, quite a few cards in there. And depending on the scenario that you choose will depend on which card you go for. Then we have lots of the little cards. So we've got their own little Ziploc bag for these. Probably going to need more bags because there's no bag provided for the counters. Fantasy Flight don't, games don't normally provide bags. So yeah, these are conditions that you can have on your character, whether they get poisoned or weakened or focused. 
various items, because you can find items in there. So, some other bits. And some dice. And who doesn't love a game with dice? So we have usual custom dice, uh, and we've got the... Uh, Daedalus' is, uh, space dice tower. Yeah, there we go. So, um, that is everything. It's just quite a few cards. You do get quite a lot of cards in there. Uh, the little cards as well. A sheet full of counters. But I am really looking forward to playing this game because I really did like the Warhammer Quest card game. Um, because it was proper cooperative. You weren't just working together to accomplish the goal of the scenario. The characters worked together. So you would have to, I've got an ability which refreshes one of your items, and then you've got something which does this. And I felt that the characters really did have to work together to do it. So here we go, and you're going to get a reboxing video, two for the price of one. Right, now that I've unboxed it, I can play it, because I didn't want to play it until I'd done the unboxing video. So that was a very quick unboxing video of Heroes of Terranoth. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comments in the show notes below. If you've played the game, let me know what you think about it. Uh, and until next time, take care, and thanks for watching. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com